I should still be able to fight with this! Let's go! Huh? Juto, are you slacking off again? Nope, not at all. Today, I did every last thing that Melissa told me to do. Melissa, huh? She's a fine-looking gal. She's spunky and has her act together, too. If I was ten years younger, I'd snatch her up myself. You'd regret it later. Trust me on this. <laughs> Good one, Juto. Come to think of it, how's the memory? Anything shaken loose? Nothing at all. But you've been looking a whole lot healthier lately. The name Juto fits you perfectly. But isn't Juto the name of a kind of weed? It's a grass that's chock full of vitality. <laughs> Melissa sure has a knack for naming things. It's her way of saying, get your memory back soon and become as tough as a weed. Tough as a weed seems kind of lame if you ask me. I bet my real name is a lot more normal. But you can't remember what it is. <sighs> Show her some gratitude for giving you a name and teaching you how to use a wooden sword. Now that you mention it, how come you can't use a real sword, Juto? Were you in a war before you lost your memory? Or did somebody take a swing at you with one or something? Boy, when I look at this fella, the only thing I can see him doing on a battlefield is running away. What? You guys get your kicks making fun of me? <laughs> Come on, you know that I'm just kidding, right? You've gotten better. Enough to use a wooden sword, anyway. Besides, if a war happens to break out, the southern forces will come in and help us. I hope you're right. I knew it. I can't do it. I can't pick up a real sword no matter how hard I try. Why? You know, you might not remember it, but I bet you fought in a war. I bet it must have been terrifying to see so many people dying. Maybe that's why you're scared of real swords, things that hurt people. Really? If real swords are no good, then let's start with a wooden sword. <sighs> I I'm sorry. I'm just not good for anything. Don't worry about it. You'll be able to use one properly someday. After all, weapons aren't meant to hurt others. They're meant to protect yourself. Did I fight in the war? For some reason, I still can't bring myself to touch a real sword. Thanks to Melissa, I can use a wooden sword. But for some reason, I still can't pick up a real one to use as a weapon. I don't think it has anything to do with my past, but I want to know why I can't pick up a real sword. I just want to know what in the world happened to me. What are you spacing out for? Are you really sulking? I'm not a kid, you know. I was thinking about something. I'm going back. Keep up the good work, old timers. Oh, hey, have you heard? They say the princess is coming to the village today. What? Really? They say she's the leader of that counter-sentinel unit that was put together to fight those terrible sentinels. Plus, rumor has it that she's also a beauty, so everybody's in high spirits. Impressive! I'm gonna see for myself!
guy's really big. this soldier's injuries. What is the meaning of this? Northern forces are in the Windsong Caverns? They seem to be after the Guardian. The Guardian? They've launched a direct attack on the Caverns? Please, don't worry. We will set out for the Caverns at once. But to do so, we will need someone to come along and guide us there. I'll go. Juto! But wait, you're... A while ago, Melissa said she was going to the caverns. I want to see if she's safe. Melissa is there? Why now? Whenever you're ready. But Juto can still only use a wooden sword. We have no intention of involving a civilian in a battle. We only ask that he guide us to the caverns. Are you sure you'll be all right, Juto? Gramps, I won't do anything crazy, so you don't need to worry. Thank you. I'm Zephy. My real name is Rizafilda, but everyone calls me Zephy. This is Argo. He's one of the Trewa people. I'm Juto, ma'am. Very well then. Please show us the way to the caverns, Juto. Juto. Huh? Thank you for showing us the way. You can go home now. I'd like to come too. What? Would it be alright if I came with you? A girl named Melissa, who's like family to me, is in there. I think she's probably still in the caverns. I see. We will be sure to look for her. But I... A Northern Forces elite unit and powerful monsters are inside those caverns. It's too dangerous for you. I can use a wooden sword if that's the problem. No offense, but that isn't enough. If you can't use a real sword, you will only get in the way. Get in the way? Yes. So you ought to return to the village. If things really do get dangerous, I'll turn back. So please, let me come with you. I told you that it's dangerous. If I die, I won't ask you to take responsibility for me. Satisfied? Well, that's not really the issue. Very well. But I don't want you to take any undue risks, all right? All right. Let's go! 
still be able to fight with this. Your Highness! You're hurt! Northern Forces soldiers went into the caverns in search of the Guardian. Our troops gave chase to them, along with the head of the island guards. With Melissa? I understand. We will take it from here. Please remain where you are. Yes, Princess. Juto, things will get truly dangerous from this point. Return to your village. Don't worry, Juto. We will rescue Melissa. I've come this far. I'm going with you! We can't fight while protecting you at the same time. Even if we do save your friend, it will all be for nothing if something happens to you. All right. I'll turn back. Please, take good care of Melissa. Juto. What was that? What's going on inside there? Juto, it's too dangerous for you to continue. I... Uh, I'm going. I'm going to see for myself. This is no time to be stubborn. Melissa might be in trouble. I can't go back without her. Turn back. You promised you'd go back. I'm going to check on her. Please don't try to stop me. Whatever happens to me, it's none of your concern, all right? <sighs> Juto, what lies ahead isn't like the world you live in. The Guardian is like nothing you've ever seen before. I'm not afraid of your Guardian. <sighs> Very well. Just don't leave our side, no matter what. Otherwise, we will all be at risk. Not just you. Don't forget that.
Juto! Juto! Time that was frozen began moving again, and I wondered what lied beyond the shell that I broke out of. It would appear the elite unit we sent to the island was defeated. Apparently, the seal on the Guardian was broken, and there was a bit of trouble. After I told them time and time again to exercise caution, you're saying that our men were all killed by the Guardian? The Guardian itself was defeated. Defeated? The Guardian? It's him. I can tell. I had believed him to be dead. How interesting. Oh, ho. He's that attached to life, is he? How ironic. <laughs> Elgar, will you see to it? He's alive. You want to see him, don't you? As you wish. What will you do when you see him? I will make him reflect on his powerlessness. Juto, how are you feeling? I'm fine, Melissa. How are you doing? The princess cured me with her healing wizardry. I'm pretty much fully healed. I see. Juto, you were out cold for three whole days. We were all worried about you. <sighs> Why did you go with them, even though you knew the caverns weren't safe? Melissa, you saw it too, didn't you? You saw me defeat the Guardian. I beat it, and I didn't even have a proper weapon. I beat that monster. But what happened to me in there? All that power. It's like... It's like I'm the one who's the real monster. But Juto, if you hadn't been there, we all might have been killed. Talk about ironic. A guy like me who couldn't use anything but a wooden sword went crazy like that. No matter what happened in your past, you're still Juto. It makes no difference to me. Melissa... Nobody is weirded out by you. So don't worry about it. <sighs> Why are you getting all insecure over a little thing like that? The Northern Forces might attack us. Pull yourself together. Look, I think some Northern Forces soldiers escaped during all the confusion. Huh? What are the Southern Forces doing about it? The Princess contacted their HQ at Abazet and requested a ship to carry away the Guardian. They need to get that thing away from here as soon as possible. You're right. Oh, that reminds me. The Princess says she wants to talk to you. To me? Yeah, I think she's probably at High Wind Island Shore. Why don't you go see her? Sure.
Huh? She's not here. Guess I'll sit and wait. Juto? Hey, what's the matter? Huh? What? Um, Princess? Are you alright? You're as pale as a ghost. <sighs> I was surprised when you fought the Guardian and won. How is it that you can summon up so much power? I really don't want to talk about it. Juto, have I said something to hurt your feelings? It's nothing that you said. What is it then? The problem is me. The power that defeated that monster. But I can only use a wooden sword. So how could I be capable of that? It's like I was the real monster back there. Juto. I think you misunderstood my question. I wasn't criticizing you, really. I was simply jealous of the fact that you have such abilities. That's all. Jealous? The southern forces are fighting against the northern forces sentinels. Monster weapons like that guardian. But it's not every day that one sees a human go toe-to-toe -to -toe against such a monster. That is why we need every resource that we can find. If we had power like that, I think it would lessen the losses suffered by the Southern Forces. Princess... That is the place that my question came from. Monster? Nonsense. You saved our lives back there. I think it's a wonderful thing to have the power to protect others. Also, although it takes a different form from yours, I, too, have powers that are unlike normal people. That is why I can understand the anxiety you feel. What? You do? Unfortunately, I still cannot quite control them. Nevertheless, they have allowed me to protect that which is precious to me, and so, I am content with that. The power to protect? Did you talk to the princess? Yeah. Anyway, cheer up. Sure, I will. It's like when you're feeling gloomy, it throws me off my game too. Go back to your usual self, okay? Yeah, and what's that supposed to mean? It's my job to chew you out when you're just slacking off, remember? But I've been praising you all day, where's the fun in that? Fine, fine. Still, you went through a lot today. You'll pull yourself together though, right? If I catch you sneaking a nap somewhere, you're gonna be punished something fierce, got it? <sighs> What's your answer? Melissa... Thanks a lot. We're back to this again? You're like a little brother to me, Juto. We're family, right? I sure found myself a bossy sister. That reminds me, Juto. In the fight with a Guardian, you broke your wooden sword, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I brought you a new one. It's a little rough, though. Whittle it down later and use it. Sure. Thanks.
Yes, I did it! Yes, I did it! Yes, I did it! Yes, I did it! Ah, <sighs> I'm beat. Guess I'll get some rest at the old man's house. Juto, hurry! It's not safe here! The Northern forces have started their attack! What's going on? Just as I predicted. They caught wind of the Guardian and the Southern forces' activities here and have come to attack. The Southern forces and the Island Guards are getting ready to meet them. They are, huh? If I could use a real sword, I'd be of more use around here. Don't worry. We've been training for this day our whole lives. We won't die that easily. So, I want you to focus on your own survival. What about you? I'm gonna fight. I probably won't be of much use, but I'll fight too. It's too dangerous. Maybe, but I can't just stand by and do nothing. I want to help you. All right. In that case, take these. Let's go to the barricade on the shore. There's something I want you to help with. Sure. Juto, I'm really sorry that it's come to this. I asked them to send a ship as quickly as possible, but to no avail. 
The ship is probably on its way to the island as we speak. However, it is likely impossible to get the Guardian aboard under these conditions. We will assist them to the best of our ability to halt the Northern Forces' invasion. I want to protect the island. I want to help too. I mean, there's bound to be something that I can do. Juto. But I think there will be wind wizards in the caverns this time, not the troops that the Northern Forces sent in last time. Wizards? What are those? Wizards' attacks have attributes, so be careful. There is a danger of being afflicted with a corresponding condition. Wind's conditions include vertigo and silence. If struck with vertigo, your speed will be reduced and your evade percentage will fall. One step up from vertigo is silence. If struck with the silence condition, you won't be able to use any skills for a while. If struck with vertigo, there is a high probability that it will develop into silence, so recover from it as soon as possible. Vertigo and silence can both be treated with lozenges. Remember that. I'll give you some on the off chance that you need them. If you're ever stuck with a condition, use them. Thank you. All right, then I'll go out and see how things look beyond the barricade first. Good idea. Be careful. Northern forces have strengthened their siege weapons. They must be the new Northern forces weapons mentioned in our spies' reports. These... these are their new death ballistas. It doesn't make sense for them to deploy such weapons for the sake of a little island like this. The barricade won't last long at this rate. But there's nowhere to fall back to. If the barricade's breached, this will come down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Juto, there's something I'd like you to do. We're taking casualties from the enemy's cannon fire. Treat them using the bandages I gave you. Got it. For an injured person, press the right trigger, then up and down on the direction pad and select bandages. The X button will become active. You can then use the bandages by pressing the X button. Right, you can count on me. One more thing. As things stand, it's only a matter of time before the barricade is breached. So to prepare for this, I want you to set traps behind the barricade. I've already marked the locations where they should be set. To set them, have traps selected, and when you approach the marked location, the X button will become active. When it is, the trap will be set when you press the X button. Right. When the barricade is breached and Northern Forces soldiers attack, provide support by throwing the Molotov cocktails I gave you. To use a Molotov cocktail, press the X button while Molotov cocktail is selected, as with the bandages and traps. When you do that, your targeting cursor will appear, so you can cause damage to enemies inside it if you score a hit on them. Aim the circle by moving the left stick. You can throw by pressing the A button. Got it. Watch out for cannon fire. And don't try to be a hero. Don't worry, I'm not some kid, you know.
still be able to fight with this. Flare. So, the ship has finally arrived. It looks like they're searching for you. We can't retreat. Not now! Even Elgar has come here. The two of us alone are no match for him. We have no chance of winning. I cannot allow you to remain here and be killed. I know. Juto, let's disengage for the time being and regroup. You expect me to just leave Melissa here? You intend to die here. You would let her death be in vain. <laughs> Hurry, we'll go to Azurebel Forest. Judging from the flare's direction, our force's ship should lie on the northeast side of the forest interior. <laughs> Juto, I wasn't up to the task. I'm sorry. I couldn't keep my promise. Why didn't you just take the stupid Guardian right away? The Southern Force's ship was delayed. I doubt that even General Headquarters could have anticipated that the Northern Forces would take action this quickly. <sighs> I should still be able to fight with this! Whoa! Ah, that was close! Yes!
want you to push yourself too hard. Let's go! Be able to fight with this. Another one. Make glory stand long time. Still okay. Juto, we're all out of time. You would rather die a pointless death here, leaving her murder unavenged? Melissa... I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. A scream that I couldn't let out was whirling around inside of me. Is it right for things like this to happen? All I could do was despair at the magnitude of what I had lost. It's good that you are safe, Princess. I'm grateful that you sent a Southern Forces ship for us, but it arrived too late. My apologies. I never imagined that they would attack before the ship was ready. As we thought, the Northern Forces are after the Guardian? I believe that is likely the case. I should have never sent you to that island. It must have been a terrible ordeal. <sighs> What's the island's status? Highwind Island has probably been completely occupied by the Northern Forces. They attacked with overwhelming numbers. We must retake the island at once! No. I believe we should no longer concern ourselves with that island. <gasps> we have spies deployed within the Northern Forces, remember? That being the case, we should be able to obtain information on the Sentinels soon enough. There is no need to risk ourselves to take back the Guardian from the Northern Forces. I want to assist the island. I'm not requesting that we take back the Guardian. In any event, aside from the Guardian, that island is a piece of land that is of no value to us. <laughs> it lacks sufficient strategic value to warrant retaking it. 
It would only be a waste of troops. But we... Perhaps we should drop the matter for now. You look exhausted. Everyone is waiting for you. Hmm? Lord Alex! Are you alright? As if I'd ask for help from you, you bastard! Such insolence! How dare you raise a hand to Lord Alex! Do you want to die? Stop this! This man is a civilian! Oh? I take it your friend is an islander? Yes. And he watched as his homeland was lost in the battle today. That's Enough! Why... You're... you're all the same! Every one of you! God! <laughs> Damn. Alex, please, as a favor to me, forgive this rude behavior. Of course. Your wish is my command, Princess. Ow. Damn it, Argo, you jerk. Where... where am I? Oh, you're finally awake. Thank goodness. I was worried. I suppose I should thank you for helping me take such a nice nap. I apologize for what I did. Goodness, you don't say. I apologized. It's just that the southern... No, that's all right. Huh? I'm going. I'll go north and search for El... How reckless. Leave me alone! You think that you can s Elgar is feared. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Juto? The northern forces are... It's because of you. <sighs> You're saying... Juto. <laughs> you can avenge Mal Even if you went north. <sighs> but if you join the... Wait. Get serious. What kind of fool says no to the princess? Your rudeness doesn't know when to quit. Say what?! So, you wanna fight? Stop this! You can't even block a paltry attack like that. With such puny power, do you really think you can defeat Elgar? Uh, Princess, who is this nitwit? You little pipsqueak. You wanna go at it for real? You're a rude one, alright. We just met and you're already picking a fight. You may be big, but you were sent flying like a ragdoll, wuss. That's enough, Crosell. Judo, don't let him get to you either. Crosell has a unique personality and a barbed tongue. If you take his bait, you'll be fighting non-stop. Now where were we? There's nothing to talk about. I have no intention of joining the Southern Forces. You'll go, even knowing you'll be killed. That is how you plan to get revenge? <sighs> Judo. Surely you realize that this is reckless. If you were truly serious about avenging her, you wouldn't be so rash. Juto, you're feeling guilty for being the only one to escape with your life. I don't see a man out for revenge. The only thing I see is a man who is being stubborn in a futile attempt to escape from his guilt. You're wrong! I'm... If I'm wrong, then why don't you calm down? I understand. I understand all too well what you are feeling. <sighs> I've lost many, many soldiers at Elgar's hand. And I, too, have nearly lost my own life to him. You and I, we share a common goal. 
Elgar is a man from whom I must get revenge. <laughs> I want to stop you from continuing down the path of battle. But you aren't interested in quitting, are you? If that's the case, then fight by our side! <sighs> Let me... think it over. Even I knew I was being reckless. As I am now, I'm completely powerless in the face of this enemy. I was furious at myself for being unable to protect the people around me. What do I do with this anger inside that has nowhere to go? Huh? Did you say something? Let me join the Counter-Sentinel unit. I... I know I suggested that you join the Southern Forces, but I didn't mean the Counter-Sentinel unit. My unit is always working on the front lines, fighting Northern Forces and ferocious Sentinels. Danger is our constant companion. Northern Forces, Sentinels, it's all the same to me. What matters is defeating them. Besides, I hear that there are lots of people in your unit who are on the Northern Forces hit list. In which case, it makes it all the more likely that I'll encounter Elgar sometime soon. No. Impossible. I can't allow you to join the Counter-Sentinel unit. Fine. Then I'll go north on my own. Juto! Oh, for goodness sake. Joining the Counter-Sentinel unit means that you will have to obey my orders from now on. Understand? Understood. If you should ever be unable to accompany us on a mission, you will be immediately expelled. Is that clear? I concur. If you choose our unit for the sole purpose of pursuing your own goal, don't expect a warm welcome. Is that clear? Yeah. Don't slow us down too much. You have to be cocky about everything, don't you, Pipsqueak? That will be enough, you two. Your brother's in arms now. <sighs> Things are going to be rowdy around here from now on. So many things were happening all at once that, frankly, I was utterly confused. But my resolve to avenge Melissa's death was the one thing I was certain of. At the time, my head was filled with countless questions about myself. So, has anything unusual happened around here while we were away at Highwind Island? There sure has. While you guys were shooting it out on that island, the rest of us were here fighting a battle at Old Fox Canyon. In the end, we turned tail and ran, though. It was because of the enemy general, Sion Regral, wasn't it? Right. As long as he's protecting the canyon, it'll take more than a half-baked force to take him on. Plus, there's one other annoying problem. Annoying? Werewolves. They teamed up with the Northern Forces and attacked the Southern Forces. Their condition for working together must have been that all the booty would go to the werewolves. I thought that they'd been lying low for a while, but they were letting the Northern Forces do the dirty work while they reaped the profits. Which is why General Headquarters has sent down orders for the Counter-Sentinel unit to take out the werewolves' main base. Well, having you two back will certainly make things easier. Those crybabies in the regular army aren't any use at all. So that's the situation. Juto, I hope you were paying attention just now. Forcing the werewolves to submit will be your first mission. Understood? Understood. What, we're bringing this guy along too? Well, just hang back and watch or something, okay? <laughs> right back at ya. Talk big while you can. Oh, don't pee in your pants when we're facing those werewolves, got it? Say what? Just drop it. I thought I said that you're teammates now. I haven't accepted this guy as one of us yet.
Juto, take this. What? Come on, you don't even know what a cube is? Are you sure you really want to give him a cube? Of course I am. He's a member of the Counter Sentinel unit now. What the heck is a cube? Is it really that big a deal? Allow me to graciously enlighten you, my ignorant friend. A cube is a device that allows you to receive letters from others. How do you get letters with something like this? First, you enter the characters into the cube. It converts those into Khan, slips it into the Khan that flows throughout the world, and it's sent to the pillar in whatever region you want. Uh, what? Oh well, I suppose your brain isn't capable of understanding even when it's explained to you. Look, just try to remember that cubes are used to send and receive letters. Uh... That's a dedicated Southern Forces cube, so if there are any Southern Forces pillars in the area, you'll be able to send and receive. Pillars? The ones you use to save memories? Well, I'll be. You knew that. Pillars make it possible to save human memories by converting them into Khan. The Southern Forces pillars are all interconnected, so the pillars can share information between each other. Also, all letters sent by someone using a cube are delivered by pillars to their recipient. And you can check the letters you've received from the main menu. Our operation orders sometimes come in via cube, so make sure you check it. <laughs> Don't be such a know-it-all. Everybody knows this stuff. That's enough. Juto, as a member of the Counter Sentinel Unit, you'll do most of your fighting in a group from now on. Would you like to study party combat? The situation is exactly the same as it was on Highwind Island. Do you know how party combat works? Would you like to learn? Just in case, I'll send you information on party combat to your cube. Make sure you go over it, all right? Understood.
We're back, Gramps. Oh, well done. I must apologize. If only we had retaken the island sooner, these horrible things would not have... We can only pray that such things never happen again. Old man, there is something that I want to ask you. What is it? Who was it that took the islanders into the caverns? It was... Elgar, and the other person called himself Huren. What? Elgar? He came back to the island? That's right. He came every once in a while during the occupation. Oh, what a horrible man. The abominable things he did. I see. Elgar. Damn it! The next time we meet, I'll show him no mercy! Don't try it, Juto. That man's strength isn't normal. You mustn't try to take him on. After all the horrible things he did to you, you're telling me just to leave him alone? <sighs> please, please have mercy. Why are you taking our villagers into the caverns? What are you doing to them? Please. At any rate, I'm only using those of no value. You should be grateful. Uh, what have we done to deserve this? Why would you do such a thing? Your people have done nothing wrong. I have but one simple goal. To thoroughly crush anywhere in the world he might call home. What do you mean? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for some fun experiments. But, Juto, I just don't want you to put yourself in danger. Gramps. Will you stay here on the island? I mean, you're coming back when Melissa's injuries are healed, aren't you? And don't worry, you can live here just like you did before. About that, Melissa's... she's still in bad shape. It looks like it'll take a while. But as soon as Melissa's better, I'll come back to the island. You will? I see. In that case, Elgar is dangerous, so you stay away from him, got it? Yeah, I understand. I lied to Gramps. I had to. I'd persuade Melissa and bring her back with me. Until then, I couldn't come back to the island. With that resolve held fast in my heart, I returned once again to Abazet. At last, the time is ripe. I now possess all the Khan necessary to save the world. And the command has finally been polished to perfection. Contact Alex. As you wish, Lord Shuenzite. All will be done according to your will. You have also served me well. I am content to have been able to conduct my sentinel experiments. The terror of the people as they lay dying, the joy of creation as I build them anew, it sends thrills up my spine. We are not waging this war for our own amusement. Do not forget our cause. I am most grateful of all for the chance to immerse myself in this research, thanks to our noble cause. <laughs> The Southern forces have taken the island? Yes. As I recall, you begged Claire to bring back the bulk of our forces from there. It looks like the Southern forces availed themselves of that opening and swept in. I'm not concerned. I know Juto will protect the islanders. Have you forgotten 
that he is the enemy? Juto will come back, if only his memories would return. You think he would be allowed to simply come back? I won't allow it. You... You're afraid of Juto, aren't you? <sighs> I dare you to say that again. I'll see to it that you can't say it a third time. I'll drag Judo back here. After all, this is where he belongs. Ha! <laughs> drag him back, you say? If he had believed what you said, he would have accepted your invitation. Perhaps he has grown attached to the so-called princess. <laughs> Mark my words. He won't come back just because you are here. Huh? <laughs> hmm? You can sleep in if you want. That's okay. I wasn't expecting you to be here when we got back to Abaset, but it didn't work out that way. I... Uh, I guess I was wrong. I... Do you think I made a self-centered decision? No. Even back when you guided us to Windsong Caverns that first time, you didn't back down until the very end. Still, thank you for staying. For a second, I thought that you might be tempted to go over to the Northern Forces because you believed in Melissa. <laughs> I can't really express it well, but in any case, I'm glad that you... I, um... I'm glad that you... <sighs> You're trying to say thank you, right? Huh? Uh... <sighs> yes. Oh, come on. I didn't stay because I was looking for your thanks. <sighs> Listen, Zephy, there's... Uh, something that I want to ask you. What? Have... <sighs> Have you and I met before? Hmm, no, I think we met for the first time on the island. Why? Juto, has your memory come back? Uh, no. So, why do you ask then? Forget it. It's nothing. Oh. Princess Rosafilda. So this is where you have been. What is it, Rue? There are things that we need to do to prepare for the battle at Ruhalt. I'm to relay them to you. I see. In that case, let's call everyone together. It was... It was just a dream. It must have been. Just a dream. At the time, I hadn't realized it yet. That dream was an omen, a sign, telling me the terrible truth. It appears that the Northern forces have deployed a newly developed anti-personnel mine in the Ruhalt Basin. These mines will explode a set length of time after they have been stepped on. They will also automatically detonate if a set level of con is generated. These guys love their new toys, don't they? For this mission, we will use lightning bombs to minimize losses from the mines. Lightning bombs are heavily loaded with lightning con, and because that reacts to metal, it has the effect of pulling out the mines. A local businessman named Fywine will assist us in making all the lightning bombs we'll need. I asked him if he would mind helping us out the other day. I see. Well then, I think we should go and see this Fywine fellow. <laughs> <laughs> 